the film begins with the birth of a baby named Hercules by the mother. Back in those times, people worshipped a king turned god named Zeus. This baby has been portrayed as Zeus' son. Sometime later, Hercules' mother learns that Hercules is the son of Zeus. She plans to kill her son, and for that reason, she sends two snakes to kill him. Hercules kills the snakes instead because he possesses inhumane powers. The action fast forwards, and we see Hercules searching for something in the forest to accomplish the tasks given by the king. At his first step, he confronts a bizarre creature with multiple heads that emerges from the water. He kills that creature. After that, he fights monster animals and kills them. One day, he goes to a cave where he confronts a powerful lion. Hercules shoots arrows at it, but to no avail, as the arrows do not hit it. But he killed the lion with his inhumane powers. Now the focus shifts to a nocturnal gathering where some people have fastened a boy to a tree. The boy is Hercules' nephew, and when Hercules learns about the incident, he rushes to the gathering and kills them one by one, freeing his nephew. One day, when Hercules is sitting with someone, the princess of Thrace named Urgenia approaches him. She asks for help from Hercules, and she says their close friends have betrayed them, which resulted in bloodshed and fighting. A man named Atalicus tells Urgenia that they have no time for her country, but if they offer more money, they can fight for it. Urgenia says fighting in a war is a proud moment. Hercules says they need money to manufacture weapons. Urgenia then offers them a lot of gold because her father is a king. Hercules agrees with her and travels with her to her land, Thrace. In the city, there stands a big statue of Zeus' wife. Urgenia tells Hercules that the statue was made in five years. No one believes in Thrace that Hercules is the son of Zeus. As for the son of the princess, Hercules symbolizes a hero for him. The ruler of Thrace, King Codus, tells Hercules that one of their close people betrayed them. And since then, the whole land has turned into a battlefield, and for this purpose, they need Hercules' help to bring everything back to normalcy. The king tells Hercules that no one except him can kill him, and in his army, there is a creature that is a half-human and half-horse. That creature is a centaur. In the following scene, Hercules and his team members start giving training to the farmers of Thrace because the country has no military. Hercules tells them to stand shoulder to shoulder and make a wall. Hercules then tells his teammate to run towards the wall, and he easily pierces through the man-made wall. Hercules tells the people of Thrace that if they remain so weak, they will lose the fight. In the meantime, Rhesus, a warlord, attacks the Bessai tribe. The king orders Hercules to confront Rhesus, but Hercules does not agree with the king because they have a weak army. But the king persists in fighting Rhesus because, according to him, killing the rival will bring peace to the land. At night, Urgenia's son, Arius, comes to Hercules, and he tells him he wants to be like him when he grows up. Hercules takes off a locket made from an animal's teeth and ties it around Arius' neck. The next morning, Hercules reluctantly prepares the army and sets out to confront Rhesus. In this way, they see beheaded heads on the tops of posts. The king tells Hercules that Rhesus arrived there before them and that he killed the people of Bessai. Hercules tells the army to parade, and he notices that the heads are not fresh but seem to be those of some people from the past. Surprisingly, the Bessai tribe besieged them from all sides, and they attack them. Rhesus has turned the people of Bessai against Thrace. Hercules and the army fight the tribe of Bessai and eventually kill them all. King Codus suffers from depression as the majority of his army is killed in the war. Hercules tells the king that he forced him to lead the untrained army toward the trained army of the enemy. Some days later, one night, Hercules has a dream that he has killed his family. He also sees three-headed monsters who attack him ferociously. Hercules is exiled from the country by King Eurystheus. He wakes up from his dream to the noise of children giggling. He follows the noise, and when he enters the forest, he sees several corpses, among them his dead family. One of Hercules' men, named Amphiraeus, tells him that he knows about such creatures that communicate the message of God to humans about the future. He further tells Hercules that the creature told him about Hercules and suggested that he complete the incomplete task. Urgenia, on the other hand, goes to Hercules' team to find out about the rumors. They tell her that one day they found Hercules, along with the bodies of his family. Hercules teaches the army how to fight. After the army is ready to fight, Hercules leads the army toward the plains, where Rhesus and his army are staying. The enemy army is three times larger than that of the king. Both armies break into battle, and Hercules and his army fight with bravery. After a heavy battle, Hercules succeeds in the battle. When Rhesus is running towards Hercules on the back of the horse, Hercules beats him and imprisons him. 
they bring Rhesus to the palace of King Codus, and Rhesus says that Hercules has helped invade a country. Hercules replies that he has stopped a cruel king who kills innocent people. Rhesus says he never killed anyone, nor did he burn any village. Rhesus tells Hercules that he is fighting on the wrong side. At night, during a ceremony, King Codus is crowned because now the whole empire is under their control. No army in the whole country can defeat them. That is why they are celebrating the victory while Rhesus is chained. Princess Urgenia does not like her people celebrating in front of Rhesus. She takes pity on him and leaves the gathering. Hercules sees the princess, and he asks her why she took pity on Rhesus. She tells him that her husband was King Thrace, but King Codus poisoned him to death and got to the throne. She says Rhesus was a loyal friend of her husband, and after King Codus got the throne, Rhesus stood against injustice and left the king. She goes on to say that it is her father, not Rhesus, who is responsible for the killing of innocent villagers. She says if she does not comply with her father, the king will kill her son, Arius. She says sooner or later the king will die and her son will get to the throne. She asked Hercules to bring her son with him and raise him under his eyes. Meanwhile, the king's man calls Hercules and tells him that the king is called for him. Hercules goes to the king, and he tells the king that he is a cruel man. King Codus says he always wanted to be King Thrace and that Hercules has fulfilled his wish. The king says he wants to expand his empire, and those soldiers whom Hercules trained will train other soldiers. The king offers Hercules the position of leader of his army, but Hercules refuses to accept it. The king tells Hercules to leave Thrace after taking the gold he was promised. Hercules and his team members take their gold and bring it to their country. Meanwhile, Hercules sees the pale faces of the villagers. He knows that he is the reason behind so many pale faces, and he throws his gold to his accomplices. He tells them that the villagers need him. Autolycus does not agree with Hercules, and he says they should go away because they have their gold. One after another, all of Hercules' team members throw their gold before him. Autolycus takes the gold and goes away in the chariot. Hercules and his team break into the palace of the king, but before they can do anything, the king is informed about their plans. The king orders his soldiers to apprehend them, and meanwhile, Princess Urgenia and her son come on the spot. The king's man tells the king that Princess Urgenia told Hercules to take her child with him to his country. The king then separates her son from Princess Urgenia. One of the king's men hits Hercules, making him faint. When Hercules opens his eyes, he finds himself chained. Hercules asks the king of Athens why he killed his family and wrongfully held him responsible for it. The king replies that Hercules had gained more popularity than the king, and he disliked this thing about Hercules. The king further explains that if they had killed Hercules, it would have been considered a betrayal. The king claims he did all of this to instill hatred in the hearts of the Athenians. When Hercules learns the reality, he becomes enraged, but he is chained. King Codus decides to kill all his opponents one by one. He begins the bloodshed with his daughter, Princess Urgenia. Hercules' friend, who is also imprisoned, tells Hercules that he should start believing in himself and fight the kings. This gives motivation to Hercules, and he pulls the chain out of the strong pillars. He rushes to the place where King Codus is killing his daughter and saves the princess. Meanwhile, the three monsters appear and attack Hercules, but Hercules kills them. Hercules then releases all his companions and the princess. But King Codus and the Athenian king have already fled the palace. Nevertheless, Hercules follows the Athenian king and stabs him dead with his dagger. After that, Hercules and his companions go outside the palace. They see a huge army of King Codus. They have captured the son of the princess, and the king is given the order to kill the child. Before the king's man can slit the child's throat, Hercules' friend, who has gone away with gold, comes on the scene and shoots an arrow at the king's man. The child runs towards his mother, and the army of Codus attacks Hercules and his team members. Hercules and his people defend the army with bravery, but one of the people dies after having sustained many arrows. The army makes a shield wall, and they head toward Hercules and his people. Hercules then notices the goddess's statue and attempts to push it. The statue falls on the army and their retreat towards King Codus. The head of the big statue hits the king, and he dies. After the king is no more, the army bows before Hercules. The movie ends there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you can stay updated with our daily movie recaps.